my Lord, mighty and majestic. He is the first without beginning. He is neither intermingled with his creation, nor is he in a state in between. He is not a ghost or spirit that is remote. He is not remote where he does not know his creation. He did not appear at some point where it could be said he is created. No, majestic is he that he be described in this way when he has given all things their shape. He was when there was nothing without time or place. He has always been and does not change through time. And he is now as he ever was. He is not distracted by different affairs. How can he be described as a ghost? And how can he be truly praised by people? How can this be when he is not within things so as to be called separate? He is without likeness, and how yet he is closer to you than your jugular vein. He is as far as can be from any likeness with the creation. The slightest thing from his creation is not hidden from him. Whether it is the slightest statement of the tongue, the hidden action, or the single footstep in the great shadows of the night, the shining of the moon, the brightness of the sun. Nothing is hidden from him when he is the source of light for all things. He knows about every place and all of what is and all will be the end of all things that are to come. He did not create the things from the foundations of eternity where they always existed, nor did he create from existing things already present. No, rather, he created what he made and established its creation from nothing. He gave shape and good form to everything. He is one and unique in his oneness. There is nothing the creation can do that can harm him, and there is no way the creation can benefit him. He is quick to answer the supplications of those that call upon him. Yes, indeed, the angels in the skies and the earth obey him. All that has died or ceased is just as full as his knowledge of all things living and what is in the highest sky. The same holds true for his knowledge in everything, and all the voices and languages do not confuse or baffle him. He hears all the different voices and languages without limbs or organs. Indeed, he is the designer and the all-seeing, the knower of all affairs, all living, self-sufficient. Glorified be he, he who spoke to Musa directly without the need of limbs and instruments, lips or throat. Glorified and exalted is he from having a similarity like the creations. Whoever claims that our God has boundaries, then he does not know the creator that is worshipped. The same is said of the one who says that the places encompass him. This claim means that he is mingled with and contained by the creation. The one that claims he is surrounded by his creation when he describes the most merciful. I have this question for him. Describe for me Jibrael, Mikael, Israfil. Go ahead. Are you then unable to describe what is a creation like you? Are you unable to describe just a creation when you describe the creator with form and organs? This same one who is neither overtaken by sleep nor slumber, 
This is the same one who owns all that is in the skies and the earths, what is between them. He is the Lord of the glorious throne. Time and ending is something that has been given to the creation. Limits are only attributed to created things, and not him. <laughs>